We're working on the gear change housing at the moment out of the turner gearbox. So I've cleaned it all up. And if we just go through the assembly for it, there it is. This is the actual gear lever itself. There's a groove down the side, which is a locating pin, which this guy sits there. And this goes into the gates down the bottom. As you can see, this one's had a few modifications to it over the years with many welds and bends to get it up to where it's going. It's a bit rough, but it's got character, so I kind of like it. So I'll keep it the way it is. Now, when this all goes together, we'll look at the housing here. There is, like an old style nylon guide on the bottom, that sits in there. Then we have our locating pin, which goes through the side. Then the knob part goes through in here, and then we have another nylon guide that sits on the top. And then we have our final housing on top, which is screwed down, bolted down. Now, there used to be a gasket on top of this, a gasket which goes from here, rubber a rubber boot or grommet, which I could probably find one online for a fortune, but I'm going to use a CV boot and see if I can cut that down to actually fit over this. That might do it. Get that bit to tuck into there. Yep, that'll work well. Just gonna pull that over. We'll use that. Excellent. I'll put that together now. Put a wee bit of blue grease in here. Probably don't need it, but might help. So I'll just put a bit of grease around here to stop it rusting. Stick that in there and we'll bolt that up. Using our greasy old bolts here. That's a breather hole there that leads down into the gearbox. Time for the old grommet. Doesn't matter how hard I try, I'm not going to get that old clip around the top of this, so I've slid a bit of um, heat of hose over there, and I'll just push into that over there, and that will be a good enough seal. Look at that, that's pretty flash for an old Bedford. An old CV boot off foil drive. Alright, I'll stick a bit of sealant on there and throw it back on. We'll make our way down into the depths. Look at that one trend. One gearbox down there. Alright, we're gonna scrape all this rubbish off the top. And instantly it goes from grubby to clean by the magic of movie. So we're all done now, so we can drop that on. Um, I may have explained before, but these are the gates. Um, I think they call them gates. So this, when you slide this lever back and forth, that is currently in fifth gear. When you move it down there, that is fourth. And when this sits and when it comes back to the central position, this will then move it between second and third. I think that's right. And then when you pull the lever over onto this pin, spring-loaded pin, this is like the lockout for reverse and first, or super low. And that will move that gate back and forth. So we'll go and get the gear lever and drop it on. So the trickiest thing here is getting the 
square lever on the end of the gear lever into here. If I get it into here, it's not going to move back or forth because it's probably jammed out because it's currently in fifth. So, where's fifth? That's right, it goes that way up in there. So we'll see if we can get it in there now. The swearing and cursing. You missed the excitement, but I think I might have it in the right place. So we'll drop it down and see. Might take a few attempts. Where's that sitting? Looks about right. We'll um, put some bolts in. See if it comes out of gear. Moment of truth. So we are in fifth. Should be fourth. And we should be going to second, third. Then there's the gate pin with the spring in it, which throws us into. I think that's first. I can't remember. It's not funny how you forget until you actually drive it. That's reverse. So we're good to go. So we can screw all those down, and it's done. There we have it, all screwed down. That feels much better. And have a look at that. This is what was on top of it. That's the old rubber. Much better with the old um, boot on it. Anyway, thanks for watching.